different story from what you heard here the last days. Most of you are here because they want to improve, uh, improve themselves. And this is a good thing to improve yourself. But I think we should transform the society as a whole to a better system where we all can be free. And um, for that, it is essential to understand in what kind of world we live in. The sad truth is, we all live in a matrix. What is told to us is not the reality. This matrix is built mainly by the mainstream media. Um, I think all of you know that in the mainstream media you're not always hearing the truth about everything. <laughs> and I can tell you that this is true because I am a mainstream journalist. I wrote for 10 years for all mainstream companies, the biggest mainstream companies in, in Germany. Uh, the last one um, is the Focus magazine, which is one of the biggest news magazines. And I'm not allowed to write in the Focus magazine what I wrote in the book. I cannot do that. And now I wrote the book and perhaps I will never write um, anymore in, in any mainstream magazine. <laughs> and this, uh, when you're banned from, main, from mainstream, this is a good sign, because then you're right. Um, mainstream media means they represent that what the mass thinks, or what the mass should think. And I will explain the matrix to you um, in which we live in. Then, and I will explain who constructs the matrix and why. Every time someone talks to you, he influences your mind. What you heard here the last days, it's influence on your mind. And most of us do it without a purpose. You talk to someone and he listens to you, and you don't have a, a, an evil thought behind it. But there are groups of people who have bad goals and they want to influence you. Um, this means we are all victims of propaganda and one of the main institutions of propaganda is the Club of Rome. Who, whom of you knows the Club of Rome? Okay, many of you. Whom of you thinks it is a good organization? <laughs> really? <laughs> He's kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> this the chief editor of Zeitgeist, he, he must know what, uh, what's really behind it. This is one statement the Club of Rome gave um, in a report called The First Global Revolution. And it's very revealing. The sentence is, or the, the phrase, the common enemy of humanity is man. In searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. All these dangers are caused by human intervention and it is only through changed attitudes and behavior that they can be overcome. The real enemy then is humanity itself. 